The U.S. is the global leader in vaccine donations, pledging to send 1.1 billion doses to help the world fight the COVID-19 pandemic. But it has shipped only 15% of the doses it has promised. VOA's White House Bureau Chief Patsy Widakuswara has more. For every shot given domestically, the United States will send three shots abroad. That's the pledge President Joe Biden made to help vaccinate the world. The United States is buying another half billion doses of Pfizer to donate to low and middle income countries around the world. This is another half billion doses that will all be shipped by this time next year. And it brings our total commitment to have donation of donated vaccines to over 1.1 billion vaccines to be donated. Of the 1.1 billion doses the U.S. has promised, the State Department said about 172 million have been shipped, or about 15 percent. The White House said 200 million more doses will go out by the end of 2021, and the remaining 800 million will be sent out by September 2022. The claim about being the arsenal of vaccines for the world think is a great talking point. It would be great to see put into action, uh, but that can't just be about donation pledges. So I do think when we talk about access and supply of vaccines, we have to look at the overall picture of who's actually getting access. Humanitarian organizations say 80% of administered doses have gone to rich countries and less than 1% to low-income countries. Data from analytics company Airfinity on vaccine stock in the U.S., European Union, United Kingdom, Canada, and China, countries with the biggest surplus, show an excess of 670 million doses by the end of September even after those countries offered booster shots to everyone older than 12. You now have a situation where you have rich countries that have three times as many doses as they actually need. And there's a real risk there that one, it's leaving out much of the world. And two, we may not be able to use that full supply. We're already seeing rich countries essentially waste millions and millions of doses because they expire before they can be used. Advocates say the U.S. should be ramping up shipments of donations now and do more to transfer vaccine technology. President Biden could use his powers to force companies like Pfizer and Moderna to share their technology and know-how with, um, with the global platforms that have been created to do that. The World Health Organization has created an mRNA technology transfer hub uh, in South Africa. Uh, Pfizer and Moderna have not participated, they have not offered up their technology to those hubs. Airfinity data show vaccine manufacturers produce 1.5 billion doses per month. With more than 6 billion doses already administered globally, the WHO goal of getting the remaining 5 billion doses required to vaccinate the world's population could be achieved in months as long as wealthy nations can loosen their grip on global supply. Patsy Widakuswara, VOA News at the White House.